All right, and uh, now before I go further into the cubic formula proof, I'm gonna do a quick recap on the quadratic formula. So recall my earlier video on the quadratic formula, and I showed that ax squared plus bx plus c, if, the, if this is equal to zero, this is the quadratic equation. Solving for x, we get x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. And in that video, I derived it by completing the square. Uh, but this video was uh, was literally, I think, 10, pl 10 plus years ago. And uh, was, uh, yeah, was, so that's pretty old. So I'm going to redo that right now, yeah, just for completeness and uh, yeah, just for reference. Uh, so I'll, I'll refer to this video instead of the old one. So anyways, so in that video, I derived it by completing the square. So uh, let's just do that right here. So let's say we have a quadratic equation, ax, yeah, ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. So this is our quadratic uh, equation. So now what I'll do is divide by a, so we get rid of the uh, of the uh, constant in, in front. So we get rid of the a in the front. So what we get is now a uh, x squared. Uh, yeah, it's going to be x squared plus b over a, x plus c over a, and then zero divided by a is just zero. And now the next step is, well, what I'll do is complete the square. So I'll, I'll put an equal sign here so it lines up. I'm going to write here x plus d squared, I mean a, a d bracket and then squared. So this is the completing the square part. So if we have x plus d squared, what we get is if we foil this out, so x times x is x squared, plus x times d is dx, plus d times uh, times x. So that's going to be another uh, dx, so that's going to be 2 dx, and then uh, last one, d times d is just going to be d squared. So this right here is completing the square. So it's completing the square, so CTS. So what, what the reason we do this is uh, we could uh, combine these, make, uh, yes, so make, replace this with uh, this form right here. And to do that first is, is note that these line up. So x squared, x squared, and now this part right here lines up with this. So then this means that, well, we could assign 2d equals to b over a. So then we could solve for d, d is equal to b over 2a, so divide that 2 out of that. So that, that is what d is. So we can solve for d squared and so on and plug inside this d there. And now notice that once we have this, so this lines up with this. So then that, that just means that we have to just throw this, uh, th throw this over to the other side and then replace, uh, replace the quadratic equation with our completing the square version of it. So we have that. So now what we get is, uh, now this is going to be an x plus d, which is b, and I'll circle this, which is uh, a b plus, um, b divided by 2a. Okay, Let's circle that. So b, this is going to be a um, plus b over 2a squared equals 2. This is going to equal to an x squared. And then, uh, and, oh, she whoops, uh, and, and, and not, not equal to this is, this is now, uh, this part right here. And then we have to subtract by this d squared. So that lines up. So we're going to do subtracted by d squared is going to be b squared over 2a squared. And now that equals to this. So again, uh, this line it up when 2d is equal to uh, b over a. Uh, then this just becomes this and then move this over to the other side. Get to all the way to this side. All right. This is. Uh, all right. Let's continue further. So the next step is just adding our c over uh, a in a quadratic equation. So this becomes uh, plus c over a. So this equals to zero. All right. So now what we do is move over uh, this to the other side. So just move everything over to that side. So what we're going to get is an x plus b over two a squared is equal to a b squared, make that a positive, over 2a squared, and then this next part's gonna be plus a c over a, and what I'm gonna do now, I mean, this is my minus. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just multiply by common denominator so get these both same common denom denom denominator because we're, we're gonna do that anyways. So I'm gonna multiply this by a, uh, this is 2a, this is a basically two squared times a squared, so in other words, we need to have a two squared and then a, there's already an a at the bottom, so 2 squared a, like that, so we're not changing anything. It just becomes still equal to 1. So then this becomes right here, this becomes a 2a squared. 
So we have that, and now what we could do is square both sides and move this over to the other side. All right, so what we get is, so we get x is equal to plus or minus, and square this whole thing. So a b squared over 2a, and also it's the same common denominator, so what I'll do is I'll uh, take this out, take this out like this, and write a line, b squared minus, this is c, this is uh, 2 squared is 4, so 4ac over 2a squared. And then lastly, we're going to subtract this uh, negative b over 2a, because we took it out all out of there. So that, that is that. And now what we could do further is, well, move this in the front, and then this one here, factor this out, because when we square this one, it just becomes 2a. And then that's the same thing as this. So we could just factor out the 2a from the whole thing. So what we get is x is equal to plus or minus. Actually, that's before we get to the plus or minus. So we put this a negative b inside there. It's going to be negative b, because we have the same common denominator, like this, which is 2a, and we took it out of the square there. So plus or minus, now we have a b squared minus 4ac, like that. So this is the quadratic equation using the completing the square method. And now if we scroll up just to double check our previous video, so there it is a negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So same thing here, negative b uh, plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So yes, epic, epic stuff.